All right, so let's go ahead and get into it, man. I know this is a video that a lot of you have been asking about, and it is the setup, how I customize my Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and step through this step by step, app by app, and I'm gonna show you exactly how I set mine up and everything like that. I give you the apps, and I also got a little goodie, but you gotta make sure you watch the video so you can catch that nugget, all right? Two cameras a day, just this one and over here. We don't got the third camera, so I had to zoom in a little bit so you can check out everything that I have going on with it. So the first thing that you see that is customized when you look at my always on display is the actual clock style, all right? Now, this is gonna be a clock style that you get from an application called Goodlock. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and go through the actual always on display. So as you can see, different clock style on the always on display, you're gonna get that from Goodlock. Also, let's go ahead and double tap it, bring up my lock screen. As you can see, I have a different style little clock and it's moved over here to the top left right here. So this is also gonna be something from Goodlock, all right? So let's go ahead and pop a unlock real quick and don't worry, we will be getting to the home screen. Let's just go ahead and step through this one thing at a time, all right? So we're gonna go to Goodlock. Now, Goodlock is an application that you download from the Galaxy Store, not the Google Play Store. You're gonna get it from the Galaxy Store, which is right here, or the Galaxy Shop, either one. What is it, the Galaxy Store? Let's see, yeah, you're gonna get it from the actual Galaxy Store. So you'll go in there, download Goodlock, and then you're gonna come up here, and this is gonna be how Goodlock is presented to you once you finish download. Now, Goodlock is a powerful, powerful tool, especially if you are heavily into customizing, all right? Like, Goodlock should be something that Samsung should include baked into their settings, in my opinion. So when you go to Goodlock, they have many different modules that you can download inside of Goodlock. So you have Lockstar, and let's go ahead and click on Lockstar. Lockstar is what I did to alter my time and my notifications you can kind of move them around. So what you'll do is you'll go to edit lock screen and then you can kind of move, you can kind of grab this and you can kind of move this around, do what you want to do it, line it up however you want to line it up or something like that. And then you just hit the save button and that saves it. You can move these notifications over here because you already know when you have a lock screen, sometimes you have a picture up there that you don't want the notifications and time covering up. The lock star widget will definitely let you move it around so you can kind of view your actual lock screen picture without anything being covered up by the clock or by the notifications. And as you can see, that's exactly what I have set up on mine. All right, so that's gonna be Lockstar. Clock face is what I also have on my always on display. So when you click on clock face, you can either do the always on display or you can do the lock screen just like I showed you during the previous step. But here, let's go ahead and click on always on display, all right? Now each one of those modules, let's back out real quick. Each one of these modules you will have to download separately, all right? So as you go down here, you can see the blue download button for the ones that I haven't downloaded yet but you can download the other ones separately and that's how you can do it. Just download what you need, but go through them and see which ones you like. So you click on always on display when it comes to the clock face widget, the clock face app, and then we are gonna go into it and here is all the different clock faces that you can choose to put on your always on display, all right? So as you can see, many different styles. You can see the one that I'm using. That's not the one I'm using. I think the one I'm using is up top right here. But as you scroll, these are all different widgets, all different clock styles that you can put that's different than what comes native on the Samsung, at, you know, just layout, you know what I mean? So you can just choose between any of these clock faces and let's go ahead and just change it real quick. So let's say we wanna do this one, for example. We're gonna click on this and simply hit that blue screen. You can even customize all the hands that you want to, all right? So I'm not really gonna get into doing all of that. Let's just go ahead and put this on and let's go ahead and apply it. And let's go to my lock screen real quick. So my always on display and boom, there you see that they applied the different lock screen there, all right? So let's uh, get my fingerprint to work. And that's basically it when it comes to the good lock and let you know how to change your clock faces and everything like that. So for me, that's how I change the clock face on the always on display. And that's also how I change the layouts of the clock and the actual notifications within my lock screen. So I can see my, you know, I can see on my lock screen and see the picture that I got up there, all right? But when you go inside a good lock, you do have other things that you can download. You got Routines Plus, if you are big into Bixby Routines, this is like an advanced routines. You got Quick Star that lets you change your quick panel. Multi Star, enjoy enhanced multi-window experience. Navstar, create your own navigation bar, home up, advanced home UI experiences. 
all of these different things, notifications, so you can have a different notification management system or how it notifies you. This is a powerful app when you are talking about customization. So go download it. Good luck. It is free. You don't have to pay for it. That's the good thing about it. And that's why I wish Samsung, honestly, would just bake it into their OS. All right. So let's go ahead and move on and let's take a look at the home screen. Now, this is one thing that you guys have been asking about. So let's go ahead and break it down. Now, for my launcher that I'm using, I do use Nova Launcher. All right. The reason for me using Nova Launcher is I just love the way that you can customize it. All right. Like the customization that you can do on Nova Launcher is so vast especially when it comes to the layout especially when it comes to the dimensions that i have going on right here now when you're looking at this this is going to be a different style grid all right so let's double tap actually not double tap let's hold it here so pull up my nova widgets my nova settings and then you can go to home screen i am running a nine by five desktop grid all right and then when it comes to my dock I'm running six apps within my dock. When well, you know Samsung, you can only run, what, four or five down here? You can see that I'm actually running six, and I do have a nine by five grid, so I can get this layout when it comes to my setup. Now, the icon pack that I'm using is going to be Line X, all right? So I will be using the Line X icon pack. This is something that you see very similar when it comes to my channel. I basically set all of my Android phones up the exact same, and I just love this icon pack. They really have a lot of icons for a lot Lot of different apps and of course some apps aren't going to have it like this vidIQ app they just kind of cater it and try to theme it so it can kind of look like it so southwest by example right here a lot of apps aren't themed you know what i mean so that's something that you do got to think about when you are putting these themes up here but linex does a good job at theming them and if it isn't themed they do a good job putting a little skin on it to make it look like it is. You see what I'm saying? So the application that I use is going to be Line X, and I apply the Line X icon pack within Nova Launcher. Now, I know One UI and the stock interface lets you apply themes straight up to it, but I like using Nova Launcher because I like the customization that you can do, especially with adding so many icons down here at the bottom, changing your grid size, and also little gestures like if i double tap a blank space that pulls up my settings so i don't have to go fool with trying to go find the settings i don't really want settings on my home screen i can just double tap this and it's going to pull up my settings you can also double tap go down double tap go up there are a range and let me just open it up real quick there are a range of different swipe gestures that you can do that you can put up here. So look at all the gestures right here. Swipe up, swipe down, double tap, double tap and swipe up, double tap and swipe down, two finger swipes. All of these, if you do within a blank space on your S22 Ultra, it will perform an action. You see what I'm saying? So for me, I just love Nova. You can customize the app jar. You can do it where there's vertical. You can do the grids. You can check, take the, the naming off your icons like I have right here. I like a clean look and you can take the name you know, off of your icons. That's kind of how I rock when it comes to the layout but you can do a bunch you can change the animation speeds this search bar right here this little search bar here i love it because you can one you can click on it and it is basically just going to pull up is there's some recommended from what for me right here what's going on so that's recommended things and if you have a bunch of apps on your phone you don't feel like going through your app jar and scrolling for them just hit that and you can just search for apps type them in and your app will pop right up and you click on it and you are good to go now the good thing about line x man if you have made it this far in the video well if you have make sure you hit that sub button and if you rock with me and you like what I got going on with this setup. But the artist of Line X did reach out to me via Twitter and gave me 50 codes for you guys to go out there and buy Line X. Now, this is the way we're going to do it. I'm not going to give all 50 away in this video, all right? I'm going to put 25 of the codes in the description down below. First come, first serve. Grab yourself one and see if it works. And that's how we're going to do it. So if you're watching this video early and you want to rock this icon pack, you got a little bonus right there. Icon packs aren't overly expensive, but hey, I can save you a buck when it comes to it. And I don't get no kickback at all. They just showed me love for always showing the icon pack love. And they wanted to give you guys a little nugget. All right. So that's it when it comes to Line X. Nova Launcher is a paid app. Now, I can't remember how much Nova Launcher is, but it is a very, very cheap app that you download, pay for it one time, and that's it. I have bought Nova Launcher a long time ago. They have a regular version, and then they have a prime version, which really unlocks all of your customizations that you can do. Now, if you want a separate video going on so I can really show you how to really go in and customize things, make sure you let me know in the comment section down below. So, Icon Pack Line X, customization when it comes to your home screen, that is going to be Nova. And last but not least, let's talk about wallpapers, all right? Because I know a lot of you didn't see this wallpaper when I posted my home screen. You probably saw 
this wallpaper right here. Well, no, not that one. Let's see, where's the wallpaper that you guys saw? That wallpaper right there. A lot of you guys were asking me, where do I get these wallpapers from? And that is from an app called amoled.in. This is also, they also have a free version. They have a free version and a pro version. I personally like the pro version because I like to come in here and switch it up from time to time and put myself a new refreshed wallpaper or anything on my phone. So here it is basically when it comes to the AMOLED IN app. One thing about it is you have many different categories, 4K, abstract patterns, animals, anime and cartoon, architecture, automobile, black and white. And I really like the 4K ones because the 4K ones just look really good. And how it works is you basically click on it. It have a little HD icon where it'll load up in HD so you can see exactly how high res it will look on your actual phone itself. And then you basically just download it or you can click apply and you can go about your business. This is AMOLED IN, very easy, simple app. It's a wallpaper app. Don't really need to go in detail. I have been using this wallpaper app though for a few years. Now, one other thing that I did forget to mention is if you do use the Line X icon pack, they have a built-in area for your wallpaper. So if you wanna use one of their pre-built wallpapers, as you can see, you can go in here, you can actually go to wallpapers within the Line X app and they have wallpapers that is catered to the design of the actual Line X app. So you can kinda make it all flow together if you decide to use one of their wallpapers. So this is just another option also for wallpapers. You might can find one in here that you like and you may not have to download a third-party app, but these are very limited, but they have some Dope, dope wallpapers in here, but that is inside the actual Line X app. Once you download it, you'll see Line X right here. Click on it, and this is going to be within the app. All right, so I think that's about everything. All right, let's go ahead and run it down real quick one more time. So when it comes to the always on display and double tap it, when it comes to the lock screen, those are going to be from Good Lock. And just like I said, I hate doing a fingerprint scanner when it's actually on the table. So those are, are going to be from Good Lock. So you can go to Galaxy Store, download Good Lock, pop those things up there. When it comes to your home screen, I am using the Nova Prime Launcher, Icon X Icon Pack, and as well with AMOLED.IN being the place that I get all of my high res wallpapers. Just love them. And they've been doing a good job for a while, man. So when you look at this, I love it. This is a very simple setup. This is the setup that I use mostly on my Android devices. I maybe start switching them up every month. Let me know if you guys want to see a monthly video of how I'm running my Android device because I'm thinking about doing a every month doing a different layout, showing you a different icon pack, showing you some different themes and something like that, man. Let me know if that's something that you want to see. But take your tea. I'm about to get up out of here. If you got any questions regarding this setup right here, let me know in the comment section down below. You know that's where I'm going to be heavy responding to your comments and uh, we'll go from there. But take your tea. I'm about to get up out of here. Everyone, please be safe. Catch you on the next one. Later.